Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, this is an Sobo exporter update. Um, been talking to a lot of developers and a lot of them are have migrated up to 3.3, bl Blender 3.3 the LTS, which is the long-term supported uh, iteration of Blender. Yeah, Blender 3.4 and 3.5 have come out, but the long-term support version is 3.3.5, I believe. All right, so I still have been using my 3.1 uh, for some time with the Asobo exporter 1.1.6 okay so this is an update to let you know that if you want to upgrade your blender okay and use the Asobo exporter here is what you need to do okay now this is the splash screen for 3.3.5 LTS, all right? But I'm going to minimize that for a second. And remember, if you want Blender, it's always free, okay? So you'll go to blender.org, and you will get the software from there, all right? So I'm going to take you, you're going to go to Downloads, and... You're going to look for Blender LTS right here. Okay, so you'll click that. If you, uh, let me go back real quick. If you click here, you're going to install Blender 3.5, but you can't use that with the Asobo exporter yet. Okay, now Blender's getting more powerful and powerful uh, as time goes on. Uh, and I recommend that you guys give to the Blender Foundation so they can help the development. Now, here's the thing. 3.5 is awesome if you're a special effects person and that is your job to do 3D modeling and um, uh, get those out, okay? Uh, I gotta check something here. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't see my microphone moving. All right, so if you if you want to use the new Asobo exporter, which is version 1.3.0, all right, you have to use Blender 3.3.x and above below 3.4. And you need to use the LTS, all right? So you'll go to blender.org. You'll go to look for Blender LTS. And you will see Blender 3.3 LTS, okay? Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click this. And you have different options to install. Now, remember, you can have more than one version of Blender on your computer at once, all right? And uh, you can create shortcuts to whatever version that you want to use, all right? So on my computer, I have uh, 2.9, which, which I'll probably delete here in a while. But I also have 3.1. And 3.1 uh, got all the bells and whistles worked out and been using that for quite some time, all right? But it's time to start thinking about upgrading. So basically you have different download versions. You can uh, download the tar or the zip, or you can, um, and, I'm, and I'm talking Windows PC, okay? Uh, you can download the MIS, which is the installer, Microsoft installer for Blender, all right? And make sure when you install it, double check that it is uh, putting it into a folder called Blender 3.3. That way you can keep your other versions, all right? So don't inadvertently write over uh, a current installation, 
all right so that's how you get blender and i think most of you guys know how to install blender the second tool that you're going to need is at a sobo studios github page and you are going to download the new exporter which is 1.3.0 okay now the thing that I've I had some issues after installing this okay and uh, people in our community uh, PVA 3455 thank you very much uh, helped solve the issue that I was having okay but I installed Blender 3.3 three times today all right I copied it I installed it from the zip file uh, and I actually, yeah, twice with the zip file and then once with the uh, MSI, all right, the Microsoft installer. I recommend that you do the Microsoft installer because it will write it to the registry and all that kind of stuff. Now, when you want to install or download the Asobo exporter 1.3.0, uh, okay, there's two places that can kind of confuse you in the download if you go to the green code button and you download from here I don't recommend this okay I did this and it and I had an issue with it all right I recommend that you go to the latest by clicking the latest link and then coming down and uh, downloading the IO scene gltf2.msfs.zip. All right, download that, but leave it in its zip format. Okay, there's two day two different ways you can uh, install Blender plugins, either through a zip file or you have to decompress it and move all those files into the add-ons for Blender. All right, but in this case. You can use the zip, so download the zip. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. All right. Now let's go back into Blender, and this is Blender uh, 3.3.5. All right. Now remember to get the exporter installed. Okay. Save that zip file into some location that you know where it is. If for my use, I have a Blender Learn folder that I keep all of these add-ons in. Okay, so I copy the zip file into my Blender Learn. All right, then you're going to go to Edit, and you're going to go to Preferences. I think most of you know all of this, and you're going to go Install, and then you're going to Migrate. Here's my Blender Learn. You'll migrate over to Blender Learn. And you will select the, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, right here. All right, I'm going to select the ms msfs.zip file. All right, I'll click that. I don't, I'm not going to do it now because I already have it installed. Then you're going to install add-on. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. After that, in this screen right here, your Blender Preferences, it's automatically going to have this line right here. All, it should be all by itself. And to enable it, you're just going to hit the check mark and that will um, install the add-on for you. Okay, to double check to see if the add-on works, you're just going to come over here to... Uh, your side menus and you're going to see if the multi export gltf 2.0 is in the list if it's not quit blender come back in and then it should uh should be there all right now i'm going to tell you about the issue that i was having i was having an issue where i brought in a model that i made of a of a terminal from 3.1 and I opened it and I made a copy of it. I called it Terminal 3.3 so I wouldn't ruin my original, okay? And then I simply just hit the export button on it, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Um, let's go ahead and open up Fairfield 3.3. Now, what happened was now there's no textures. I got one texture in here. Okay, but before I did this, the whole thing was textured. All right, and it kept failing when I hit export. All right, I need to double check a couple things before I hit buttons. Okay, I, I think I'm good to ruin this. All right, I got just want to make sure I'm not working in my airport folder. All right, so I have a copy of this. I placed it in my guinea pig airport uh, 5 alpha 1, which is a local airport next to me that has a couple buildings. All right, it's not a big airport, but that's where I do all my testing. All right, so I have the uh, this particular hotel in. Now, you'll notice I have no textures in it other than this right here and the sign is because something was screwing up and I couldn't figure out what it was. And what I found was when I deleted all references to uh, my images, my export worked fine, okay? It was only when I added textures. Okay, so here we have a PBR texture on this post, which is a bunch of stone. Okay, and I've added that in. Now, what I'm going to do is I hope this fails. All right, at least I'm hoping it will. All right, so let's pretend this whole, this whole object is textured. All right, even though I only have one texture on it right now. Okay, when I hit export, I get this failure, all right? And I could not figure out, and these errors that you get for Blender are quite vague, all right? They don't tell you the real problem, right? Okay, so I have all of these errors. It was not processing the texture, okay? Now, thanks to PVA 3455, uh, who is part of our development group, uh, on Facebook, he he got he got the answer. Okay, uh, he went to uh, Asobo's uh, GitHub, and there was an issue with this, and they told us how to fix it. And you're gonna smack yourself in the head when you realize how easy it is. If you come over to the settings for the export right up here, you're gonna notice under the data. Custom properties is checkmarked. All right. If you uncheck that, that's all it is. If you uncheck that, go back to your export, click export, it works. That is the only thing that you need to do if, when you have textures, just go to settings, data, and turn off custom properties. Now, the reason this was baffling me is because every export I've ever done prior to this, I've always had custom properties checkmarked. Whether it did anything or not, I have no idea, to be honest with you. Okay, but with the new Sobo Exporter 1.3.0 with textures, uh, we're talking PBR textures. We're not talking vertex colors like this sign is vertex colors That's just me selecting the sign coming over here selecting a color. All right, that's all this is Those work just fine It's when you bring in PBR textures in a PNG file or something like that. All right so make sure before you start exporting that you go to the settings data and uncheck custom properties and your exports will work just fine. Okay, so where am I at now? I'm gonna be going into a lot of my scenery, uh, some projects that I've been working on, and I'm going to test uh, Blender 3.3.5 and the new ex uh, Sobo exporter. Uh, religiously should i say i'm going to be testing it for days and days to make sure that it, it is stable but 
I feel confident after this little glitch today. I was, I don't have any hair anyway, basically. I had even less at the end of the day. But I thank my buddy over there, PVA3455, for getting right on this and getting me the answer. He saved my butt. Thank you very much. And I hope this saves your butt. Anyway, if you uh, like my content, consider supporting me. Uh, buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. Uh, please, if you would, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with all your colleagues, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you guys have a great week. Mine has just now gotten better because somebody saved my butt. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.